All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to you. How about Shami Al Shai? Give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone at Rule Well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. Ms. Makazar from the Trinidad camp. One dual exhorting lesson, you know. Because, hey, we, we, we see we are, the, we, we are the end right now. You know, we are the end. And brothers, you know, going through this truth, been groaning, been sighing, been crying. Understand? Scripture says, "Pa mark upon the men that been sighing and crying, being in this in this kingdom, in Esau's kingdom, is not an easy task. Seeing all the wickedness, all the wickedness. Every time you go out your house, you seeing wickedness. Every time you put on the TV, you seeing wickedness, wicked abominations. You know." And on top of what you're seeing, things you're hearing, things you have to endure, you know, people being evil and wicked towards you, you know, it's just, you're just catching hell at every angle, right, hell on every side, but guess what, that all that going to be put to our end, we ain't going to be going through that no more, alright, soon and very soon, we ain't going to be going through that no more, the Lord Yahabah Hashem Yahu Shai is going to send his angels as the scriptures say wherever the body is there shall the eagles be to gather them up the Lord is going to gather us up and hey, we, the scriptures say ain't going to have no more crime all tears were wiped away alright so just want to go into the scriptures here real quick there is um, Romans chapter 8 verse 19 it says for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of Yahweh. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who had subjected the same reason of hope. So this hell we going through, guess what? We we not like we want we wanted to go through this, not like we we don't just choose to go through this, but guess what? We, we was made just like Yahweh shy, just like beginning with Adam all the way down. Guess what? We was made to go through this. If we had if we had a choice, we would not choose to do this. But guess what? That was all the will of the Most High. Alright? Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of the corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of Yahweh. So yes, so we're going to be just like the angels. In Psalms um, 19, I believe it says, I shall rejoice when I awake with thy gladness. Um, and when I shall rejoice when I awake in thy likeness, my bad. Alright? So we're going to rejoice when we are awakening in the Lord's likeness when we come out of this wicked flesh we we you know we ain't gonna be going off no more you know satan ain't gonna be messing with your minds no more and all that hell you ain't gonna have no more nigger woman all that gonna be done away with all right it says for we know that the whole creature grown it and travail it in pain together until now and not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Even we ourselves, grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit the redemption of our body. So guess what? So we grown inside. We grown in on a daily basis. Days now we rest. We're not happy here. Yahweh Shai promised that he's going to come back and, you know, we patiently waiting until the day when Yahweh Shai come and guess what? Living here day to day, you know, we we grown in within, right? We grown in within because our desire is to be with the Lord, just like Paul said. We don't want to be here, all right? This is um Saint John, Saint John chapter twenty one, verse five. It says, "Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, Children, have ye any meat?" They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. And they cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it up for multitude of fishes. Therefore that the, the, therefore that the disciples, the disciple whom Yahweh Shai loved, said unto Peter, which the disciple who Yahweh Shai loved was John. Alright? Was John. Said unto Peter, it is the Lord. 
Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girded his fisher's coat upon him, for he was naked, which he wasn't but naked, you know, even I might have just been in his, um, his underwear, if you want to call it that. He wouldn't have been butt naked. And did cast himself into the sea. So guess what? Now Peter, the Lord promised unto the disciples that after three days he would have returned unto them. He would have risen and he would have returned unto them. Now Peter was waiting for this. And Peter was so overjoyed when he saw it was Yahweh Shah that he couldn't even wait for the boat to reach into the shore. He just threw himself over in the sea and swim. He find like, hey, that boat will move too slow for me. I need to reach the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahshai now. I need to reach the Lord now. That is the mindset that Peter had. He couldn't wait. He couldn't wait for that boat to reach. He had to swim to, to meet Yahweh Shai. Because why? Peter, Peter was rejoicing to see the Lord. He was sore for all the time because the Lord was the husband man was taken away from them. But now the husband man returned. The bridegroom returned. So Peter was rejoicing. And when we see Yahweh Shai coming, guess what? We're gonna rejoice. We're going to rejoice when we see Yahweh Shai come with the ten thousands of heaven. Alright? That is how we're going to be. You understand? We're going to be happy when we see Yahweh Shai break them clouds. You understand? The Lord coming with destruction for the wicked, but you also come with salvation and deliverance for the elect. And the elect going to rejoice. The elect going to rejoice when they see Yahweh Shai come. And that is the day we're waiting for, being part of the hopeful elect. We're waiting for that day when Yahweh shall come and deliver us from here. So we ain't going to always be sighing and crying. It ain't going to have no more captivity after this. It ain't going to have no more headache after this. Yahweh shall going to dwell with all that. Lord Yahweh shall going to dwell with all that. So we, in that day, we're going to rejoice and be glad. Right? We're going to rejoice and be glad. Habakkuk said that even the fig trees bear not. No, it had no sheep in the field. He shall rejoice in the Lord. Because we rejoice, just like Apostle Taha said, these are happy times. We rejoice because we've seen the prophecies hasten to come to pass. And we know that while destruction happening, while them missiles going off, yeah, Lord, you have a shaking and come and deliver us up. And that is we'll be having hope and patience in because we, we want to join that salvation. Alright? Just like Peter himself, Peter couldn't even wait. Peter just threw himself over the boat. He couldn't wait. He couldn't wait for the for the boat to reach the Yahweh Shai. He was so overjoyed that the Lord returned unto him. And that is the spirit that we're gonna be in. That spirit like Peter was in. We're gonna be overjoyed when the Lord Yahweh Shai come. Alright? This is Psalms. Psalms chapter 30 verse 5. For his anger endured but for a moment in his favor is life. So yeah, the Lord was angry with us. That is why we're here in captivity. That is why we're going through all this hell. The Lord was angry with us. But it only endured for a while, for a moment. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Joy cometh in the morning. It's only a matter of time before joy comes. And we, we at that time, the scriptures talk about the day star. Right, that joy that coming to the morning is when Yahweh Shai break them clouds. Because Yahweh Shai is the day star when your day start dawn in your heart. All right, there's in the book of Peter. This is Revelation 19, Revelation 19, verse um, I said at verse 6. It says, And I heard as it were a, a voice of a great multitude. And as a voice of many waters, and as a voice of mighty thundering, saying, Alleluia, for Yahweh omnipotent reign it. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife had made herself ready. So the, the marriage of the Lamb is when Yahweh Shai come in to take up the elect. And the wife that made herself ready is the elect. Made herself ready by what? By, by kept to this word? By strive for the truth striving for the truth until death keeping you know keeping themselves clean all right keeping themselves clean that is the marriage of the lamb 
and the mar the, the when it says that the the marriage has come, that is when Yahweh Shai come to deliver us. Alright? That is when Yahweh Shai come to deliver us. When Yahweh Shai come to deliver us, that is that is basically how how we're gonna be in, in, in um in that day. We're gonna be rejoicing. Alright? We're gonna rejoice. The angel is gonna rejoice. Going back, pursuing back to Romans 8. Alright? Because we're growing within ourselves, being here in this kingdom, you know, we're catching hell all, all angles. Hardly have enough money to, to buy food, to pay rent. You know, your, 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 your wife, your ex-wife, you know, talking shit, you know, in your head, you know, for, for your, your child that you had with her. Your wife that you have with you talking shit, oh, you, you know, you know. You always, you always with your, your, your acum. You never have time for me. Always talking shit. Your boss talking shit is like, is like a constant headache. But when you see, when you see these days, guess what? You're gonna rejoice, and to a point, you're gonna block out some of that shit that you hear in your ears because you so, you rejoicing so much within that. Guess what? Right now, currently, it, it only have so much that you would allow to bother you because you know the destruction of the so-called white man is near. And guess what? The salvation of Israel soon coming. All right, is the final scripture here? The Psalms. It's the Psalms, one twenty-six, verse one. It says, "When Yahweh turned it again the captivity of Zion, we were like them in a dream." You understand? We were like them in a dream. It's like we we almost. Gonna like, hey, this this happening for real? It happening for real now? You know, cause you're dreaming about something all, all your life, and then when it really happens, it's like you, you're trying to make sure now. Nah. Let me make sure I'm not sleeping. Let me let me pinch myself to make sure that I'm not sleeping. That's how we're gonna be. We're gonna be so overjoyed in that day. Then was our mouth full with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the heathen. Yahweh had done great things for them. So the, the heathens, the heathens themselves gonna, gonna see what the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yashai did for us. You understand? The heathens gonna see. Let me see if I could find the scripture real quick. The heathens, they're gonna see. Um, this is Jeremiah 33 verse 9. And it shall be to me a name of joy and praise and honor before all the nations of the earth, which shall hear all the good that I do unto them, and they shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that that I procure unto it. So all the good, all the exceeding greatness that the Lord Yahweh Shem and Shai gonna soon do to us, the nations gonna see, He gonna do it in His sight of all these nations. Alright? So all eyes are going to see the Lord Yahweh when He come because they're going to see the salvation of Israel. The salvation of His, um, of his, of his purchased possession. Alright? Matthew Psalms 126 verse 3. Yahweh had done great things for us. Wherefore, whereof we are glad. So we're going to be glad. We ain't going to be glad right now. We are none to be glad about. All right, yeah, we're glad to see the microchip passing. We're glad to see World War Three looking to to break off. But guess what? We when we really gonna be glad is when we out this shit hole. There's no we rest. We could never be truly happy here, even if you know the Lord was to bless us. Well, probably curse us with a million dollars. Guess what? Come, I I be real with you. A million dollars is a curse right now in this kingdom. But let me see the Lord was to curse us with a million dollars. Guess what? That would I that would not be true happiness. That would not be true happiness because guess what? You're still gonna have some headache. You're gonna have money to do what you have to do, which a million dollars is gonna only go so far. But guess what? You're always gonna have some trouble, some sign and crying within, especially if you're a man of the Lord. It says, verse 4 Turn again, O captivity, O Yahweh, as the streams in the south. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. We sowing in tears right now. 
we saw it in tears. The scripture say in Micah 4 and 10, be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Jerusalem, that dwelleth with the, with the daughter of Babylon. We labor in and to, to bring forth. All right? So we saw it with tears, but we're going to reap in joy. We're going to reap and joy. We're going to inherit all things. And we're going to be so happy that, guess what? It's going to almost be like we was never in slavery. We're going to forget slavery. We're going to forget that we was ever in captivity under these nations. With the amount of goodness that the Lord Yahweh Shem is going to point to us. Verse 6. He that goeth forth and weepeth, beareth precious seeds. Bearing, bearing precious seeds shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. So guess what? We're gonna hey, in that day, in that day gonna be so much joy that America gonna be forgotten. The Lord say in Joel that he gonna do unto us better than we than in Isaiah he say he's gonna do better unto us than we beginning. And in Joel he say he's gonna return unto us the days that the locusts have eaten. So all the years that we was in captivity, the Lord Yahweh Shem and Shai gonna recompense us for that. You understand? Let me just read that real quick. There is um, Joel chapter 2, verse 23. Be glad then. Say, say, be glad. Ye children of Zion, and rejoice in Yahweh your power. For he had given you the former rain moderately, and he shall cause to come down for you the rain. No, the former rain was when he was back in. In the, in the ancient kingdom under Solomon, but David unto Solomon, that was the former reign. But he gave us that moderately. He gave us that that blessing moderately back then. And he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. So the Lord gonna cause us to receive the former rain, which would have been the rain wrong harvest, um, I believe wrong spring. And the and the latter rain, which would have been only time of harvest. So guess what the Lord given us. All we blessings at once and given us double. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore unto you the years that the locust had eaten, and the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And I talk about the heathens, the other nations, because they ate up our inheritance. Don't see gonna return unto us all them years that they took away. So it's it truly gonna be a day to rejoice. Alright? And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of Yahweh Bahashem Shai, your God, that had dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am Yahweh your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And that is the day we're waiting for. That is the day we're waiting for. When the Lord bring all that gladness upon us. When we don't have to go through this hell no more. When we don't have to wake up in the morning and worry about where we get money from to pay rent. To pay bills. You know, these kind of things. Or if they're going to turn off your current. These kind of things. You don't have to worry about these things no more. You don't have to worry about the black woman looking at you and turning your face all upside down when she's seeing you. Watching a king in, in, in his face like, like the king is dirt. Alright? In that day, guess what? The daughters of Zion going to be running after us and shouting our names just like they sing songs for Dawada. Malak Dawada. Alright? The heathens ain't going to be looking at us and calling us dogs no more. Imagine a dog calling you a dog. So that is the days we're waiting on. The days where we could truly rejoice and be glad. You know, so with that, I want to give our praises to Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Give double honors to the apostles of great mercy not rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeful and sincere elect. It's Makazar from the Trinidad camp saying Shalom. Just stay strong. We're almost out this bitch.